Hi guys, my name is Adam Rashid, and in this tutorial series, I'm going to be showing you guys how to develop a design made in Sketch in HTML and CSS, and maybe a little JavaScript as well. And in this first video, we're going to set up our workspace, and in the next few videos, we're going to set up our HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So uh, let's dive right in. So this is the design I made in Sketch that we're going to be using to develop in this tutorial. So as you can see, it's a simple one page portfolio site. It has a hero area with a nice bold contact me button, about me button. Then it has a uh, portfolio area with where you can show your work and then a blog and then a get in touch area with social media buttons and a contact me button, which will take you to either straight to an email or go to a type form area and then a footer with different footer links. So it doesn't have to be for a UX UI designer. It can really be for any type of creative professional who wants a simple one page portfolio. So let me show you how it functions in different states and different screen sizes. So when you scroll down, it'll have a sticky header with just the name and a contact me button. And I'll follow you as you scroll up and down the site. And this is how it looks on a tablet as well as a phone. And to improve our UX, our user experience, uh, when someone's viewing the website through a phone, you'll have a sticky footer button, which will be the contact button. So people will easily be able to select it with their thumbs while they're browsing the site. So uh, let's get started. So let's save this first, hide it, and I've created a new blank folder called Designer Portfolio. And I've gone to my favorite code editor, which is Brackets. It's available for free by Adobe. And you just drag it in and you have this blank area. So let's uh, create a new file, call it index.html. And let me uh, increase the text size for you so you can uh, see it a little bit easily. And before we get started, I want to show you the extensions I'm using or the plugins. And you'll see I have a handful of plugins installed. Uh, what we're going to be really using here is Emmet, which is used to be called Zen Coding. Um, it has some great keyboard shortcuts for uh, really speeding up your HTML and CSS workflow. And the theme I'm using is New Moon. So if you want to get that, that's what it's called. So we have our HTML uh, created. Let's go back in here and create an Assets folder. Within that, let's create CSS folder. And that's all we need. So uh, let's select our HTML file and just type in HTML colon five and then press tab and you get a uh, pre-populated HTML doc type, um, which is really cool. It's it's something I did using Emmet, which is cool. Let's go in here. We need to make this view uh, responsive. So we'll do meta colon VP, which is viewport, press tab again. And it gives us our uh, responsive viewport. Let's call this uh, designer portfolio. Cool. And let's make um, press command option and bracket or slash and type in uh, styles press enter and type in link and that's where our CSS is going to go. And for now, let's just type in H1, tab, and hello. Save that. And we're actually going to also use CodeKit because in addition to Emmet, we're going to be actually using SCSS instead of just CSS. So we'll need something to compile that, and CodeKit's a really cool way to do that. You can get that or Prepros or anything else that you like that compiles SCSS for you. So we'll drop in our portfolio folder and 
go to preview. Uh, actually, go to our address. And there you go, hello. And we can change it and you can see it live reload world. Let's just change this to all caps. Okay, now we are going to set up our SCSS and CSS. Now we have um, already in our assets folder a CSS folder. Let's also create a new folder called SCSS. And within there, we're going to create new file called main.scss. Within it, we're going to just do say body background light blue. Save that. <clears throat> and you'll see we have um, auto-generated auto uh, CSS file. So let's go in here and see what's going on. We're going to have uh, its output nested, uh, what we, and it's going to asset CSS main, which is good. Let's just go to compressed output style, create a source map, and run auto prefix, prefixer, and compile that again. And you'll see that it's compressed. So uh, let's put, uh, let's link that uh, CSS file in here. So on the HTML file. So we're gonna CSS and main CSS. Perfect. Let's go back to our main SCSS and let's do color red. Perfect. Looking really well. Oops. Perfect. So there you have it. That's how you set up your workspace for this tutorial. So in the next video, we're going to take our design and start laying down the HTML for it. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, just a quick heads up. I am developing a course for Kirby CMS and I've set up a quick crash course for you guys, which you can go to at learnkirby.xyz. You can go there and download a free five part crash course in which you'll learn all about Kirby and when to use it versus WordPress or other CMSs. Set it up quickly and learn how to create a one page portfolio site all by yourself. So make sure to go to kirby.xyz and sign up for your crash course.